here we go again, man. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Drew coming back with another video. And today, I'm be showing y'all my settings, what I think is the best settings for COD Mobile when you're using your PS4 controllers, man. This is the best settings for everybody using their controllers. And they're probably like, hey, why are you showing them controller sets, man? Controller cheap. I don't really use controllers like that, but I play with it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, just so I can get this video out to you guys. Also, I feel like playing with controller on COD Mobile right now is a little bit of a disadvantage to some, especially if you have not ever used controller before on a smaller device like this. It's not the same as playing on a big screen TV. Um, it's a lot different. It's a lot different. Even on when you're using a monitor, a smaller monitor, it's a whole lot different, man. The settings are different. The sensitivity is different. A whole lot of things. And I feel like they're still not going to have a huge, huge advantage over people who really know how to play with their thumbs, know how to play with their hands. So that's why I'm like, eh, I'll make the video just because I want to also because you can hit that like button, man. Hit the like button. Leave a like for your boy. You know what I'm saying? It goes a long way in the YouTube algorithm, man. We're on the way to 2.2 subscribers on the channel. So let's get right on into the video, man. These are the settings um, that I have. So let's step right on into it. Let's go over to my game. And I'm going to show y'all the settings that I use when I use controller. And I, I'm, a lot of times, the only time I use controller is to get a video out because I love using four finger claw even though I have a small phone I said small phone this is a note 9 pretty nice size phone but in terms of people who use an iPads and stuff it's, it's a smaller device so let's get on into my settings you know what I'm saying let's go here let's go to controller and let's go to settings so right here got the X and Y axis on default most of these things are on default. Tap ADS is on hold. Auto sprint is off. Sprint function left. Tap left joystick. And that's just how it is on the console versions of Call of Duty. All right, let's go to multiplayer sensitivities. This is what everybody wants to know right here. What are your sensitivities when using it? So this is best for beginners if you're an expert at um, COD Mobile. If you're an expert at COD Mobile, when it comes to using controllers and stuff like that, you really won't need this. Um, it won't be as important to you as somebody else. So let's get right into it. Horizontal sensitivity, 110. Vertical sensitivity, 70. And then you can look at the rest of the settings like that. ADS uh, and non-scope horizontal, 80. Vertical, 60. Scope horizontal is 50. Scope vertical is 30. Um, ADS for the snipers, I have 30 and 10. I don't really snipe a whole lot, so you kind of have to personalize that one to your liking. But these are the settings I like, especially when you're first starting out. Now, once you get good and you can move around a whole lot better, increase these sensitivities a little bit um, to your liking and stuff like that. But in the beginning, use this right here. This is the best setting. This is for multiplayer. I have not really been in battle yet or zombies with controller as you can tell i don't play a whole lot of controller you know what i'm saying but if i had to say anything i would say just copy and paste your same sensitivities from multiplayer over into zombies and over into battle royale just do that just copy and paste your settings whenever you're going to play those um type of modes just copy your sensitivities and stuff like that and i feel like it'll work out the same way no problem with that so that's it for the video today um Hopefully, you, everybody who is a part of the Hype family having an amazing day today, man. I hope you are. Also, I will be live Friday this week. It's going to be a great live stream. I'm hoping to have a long live stream. Haven't had a very, very long live stream in a long time. So, hopefully, it could be a longer live stream. But anyway, continue to grind and continue to shine, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. It's your boy Drew, and I'm out.